Jerry is asking. So he saw our, my recent video on Hamvention, and um, he says it looks like a ton of fun, wants to get out there. But um, he's wondering, what does 5-9 mean? I haven't made an HF contact yet, so all this is new to him. So, uh, Jerry, let's talk about 5-9 and signal reports. That's a yeah. loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all 5-9 here. If I, say, what, again, what, say again. What was that? Say yeah. it again. You're five nine. You're five hold nine. On, say hold on. I didn't quite get your call. <laughs> oh, 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 you came up. You're five nine. Absolutely. So, um, we give signal. So, uh, for all of the new hams out there, we, you know, when we're on the air, we'll give you a signal report because your people are going to want to know, you know, how you are receiving them, and we use two different sets of numbers or three numbers if you're talking about CW but we're going to talk about we're going to talk about voice or phone operations so we've got two numbers uh, one is a, a subjective number based on how we feel the signal sounds like and the other one is an objective number based on the meter reading on our transceiver so our first number the 5 well is well it's a scale from 1 to 5 um Five meaning perfectly readable and understandable, beautiful audio to one, which means I think there was a whisper out there, but it took I don't. Twenty minutes to dig it out. <laughs> I don't. I don't know for sure. Or it was a signal with poor audio quality. Maybe there was some kind of technical issue with that. That's our. That's our subjective. You know, we're saying that um, you got a beautiful signal, you're a five. You got a terrible signal, you're a one. Um, and that's our. That's our. Our. A subjective uh, uh, um, evaluation of your signal. Now, the objective number, that's our second one, you know, the nine uh, in our five nine, and that is based on the signal strength readers, on, on signal strength meter on your transceiver. If you look at the needle, it's moving from one, it's nine, and then it has 10 plus, 20 plus, 60 plus, uh, whatever. Um, so we typically tell you what we see the S meter reading is telling us on, on our on our transceiver. So that kind of gives us them sort of an objective or a, an objective value of how you're being received. So when I say five nine, beautiful clear signal, full strength on the meter, you are you are good to go. Um, if I tell you you're five five, you know, it's a great signal, but um, you're only half scale on my meter. If I say you're three three, you got your meter. The, my meter may not be moving, and there is a lot of noise to your signal. Maybe it's because of atmospheric conditions, bad propagation, QRM, adjacent signals, or something like that. Something is really there's 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 some type of interference either. Um, natural or man-made that's just or your signal is just very weak and unreadable so that's you know that's kind of how we how we sort of how we sort of scale things now the right. fun don't part take as, don't take it as an insult <laughs> of your three three you still no, made the contact no, that's absolutely it's not a bad it's not a bad thing to be a three three it's not a it's no. absolutely not it's um because we're just we're just telling you how we perceive that signal in objective and subjective members, and that's that's good to know that um, that well, you're under you, if you're understandable or not understandable, if you're weak or perfectly copyable, if you're if you're if you're pegging the meter or if you're not, because that tells the other person how they're you know maybe how their antenna is functioning, how propagation is functioning, how they are you know maybe you know if they're maybe you are just in that perfect skip zone or maybe you're out of this out of the skip zone and um Some sort of rfi garbling your your yeah audio. or yeah you don't absolutely, it because absolutely. everybody's five nine in the contest <laughs> so never so never you know never take take a bad signal report as an insult it doesn't it's nothing you know it's 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 just we're, we're telling you how how we perceive your signal to be and so that's that's a really important consideration but now we're in the contest and you're five nine, and the person and the station asks, "Can you repeat your call sign again?" You're five nine. <laughs> Everybody is five nine in the contest, regardless of how you sound, and that is just 
the shorthand of that's taking just the way it is. That's right? just oh, the way it is. That's yeah. be, because we've got to exchange call signs and signal reports. And we got, and when you're in a contest, you want to make as many contacts as you want in the short amount of time as you can. And um, yeah. I'm not going to piddle around with signal reports. You're five, nine. So um, just take it at that. Yeah. So now that being said, if there's, if I'm running a pile up and somebody says, Hey, can I get a real signal report? I will take the two mm -hmm. seconds to give a honest. Oh, yeah. it, it, if I'm doing POTA, I'm giving you a real signal report. If I'm running a contest, you're five nine in the contest until somebody asks me. Or <laughs> you're five nine until proven otherwise. <laughs> until somebody asks <laughs> otherwise. And I don't contest a lot, so it's yep. It's a game that I begrudgingly play because I prefer to give honest signal reports, but I get that nobody's got time for that in a contest. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So, and um, Don here says, yeah, our RST, readability, signal strength, and CW is tone. Uh, readability is, so that's our subjective. Um, and then signal strength is our objective value. And then tone, I talked about, I, I, I mentioned three numbers for... Um, CW and that is our it's the tone. How does your how does your tone sound over the air? Is it is it strong? Is it warbly? Is it um messed up somehow? Um, you know, is it whoop up and down or things like that? Uh those are all things that might be might be indicative to a, an issue with your transmitter. So it's right. good to know how your tone is being uh, perceived, and that's that's that third value from one to one to nine. And, well, the um, other thing to consider in a contest is you may have to repeat your call three, four times to get heard over everybody else that's calling as well. It may not, yep. that, that five nine might be legit. It's mm -hmm. just there's seven other five nines calling and you got to <laughs> figure out which one am I actually listening to? Yes, you do. Remember, yeah. field day is much like whose line is it anyways, where the single <laughs> reports are made up and the points don't matter. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the signal report was made up and the points do matter. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a contest, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, it's, not a, a it's an emergency yeah. radio exercise. Emergency preparedness drill, yes. Mm -hmm. sure we are is. preparing to send radiograms from the woods. Yeah, 45 <laughs> uses his ears and not the meter. You know, a lot of times I'm not even looking at my meter. And um, if it's strong to me, I'll give you a nine. If it's weak, I'll give you a five. If it's somewhere in between, I'll give you a seven. And um, usually about 75% of the time, I'm good at guessing without having to look at the meter. So it's, um, yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> QRO stations? I think you mean QRP stations because holy cow, some of those guys are loud. Yeah. I'm QRP. Yeah. No, you're not. You're 60 over. Well, sometimes if you got a good antenna. So. Oh, yeah, I know it can happen, yeah. but jeez. Yep. Yep. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.